Hey guys, welcome to Brad Kranz. Thanks for joining me for Monday Morning Leadership here. I'm gonna talk about Change Your World. I've got Ruth Easterling with me here. Hello. Thanks for being here, Ruth. And I am bringing on our guest, David Mutiso from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. He's the CEO and Managing Director of the Refacto Garden Learning Center. So David, welcome. Thanks for joining us this morning. How are you doing? Yes, good evening from Kenya. Kenya, you're in Nairobi, Kenya. We're in Seattle, Washington. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning here. So thank you for joining us today, David. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate also me, Mr. Ambrand. Yeah, and I've got uh, my, my partner here, Ruth Easterling. She's sitting in with me here today. So, um, Hey, David, I just want to ask, so you are the CEO and Managing Director of the Refacto Garden Learning Center in Nairobi, correct? Yes, I'm okay. the founder. Yeah, how, lo how long have you been doing and, uh, Sorry, come again? How long have you been doing that? How many years? Uh, I, I started in 2007. With okay, so it's been about, what's that? 13 years or so. So tell me, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about what you do. What is, what is your guys' focus? I know you deal with orphans. So tell me a little bit about what you do specifically. Okay, what we do, we, I, I personally started uh, this organization, uh, this uh, learning center uh, in 2007 mm -hmm. for children who were not going to school in the slums. Okay. Because in the slums, we call them non-formal settlement. We have, no, uh, we have no public schools, we have no toilets, we have no sewage lines, we have nothing. We just live and wait, and, and, and wait God. So I, I saw people, because I grew up in the slums, I saw people all, all always complaining about waiting the government to come and build schools, uh, waiting other good donors to come and build schools. Then I asked myself, how long will these children wait and they are growing? So I came up with an idea and I said, I'm going to start a, 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 a learning center uh, with the name Rifako. Rifako is an initial, initials of uh, remembered families in the community. Great. So, yes, so I, I started with 10 children. Uh, at the moment, I introduced breakfast. The following week, they increased to, to 20. Uh, when I, I, introduced, I introduced lunch, they, 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 the number grew up because, one, in the slums, to get a, a, a children to get a breakfast and a lunch is a miracle. And now they are coming for breakfast and they are, they are they, 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 and they know they are going to have lunch. So to me, giving uh, breakfast and the lunch, it was a kind of attracting them to come out of their streets, to come out of their houses and they come and they learn. Because my question, was, uh, what, uh, what was running uh, in my mind was this. I can see the rich people getting rich and the rich families, uh, children going to school. So it means if you're not, I'm not going to come up with an idea and train these children and give these children education, mm -hmm. they will remain, their families will remain in poverty. Yeah. So I, did, I say this, even if we are in the slum, and these children get gets education, and I mean a good education, and if these rich people, their children get education, in the 10 years, 20 years to come, the children, they will be equal. They will be all educated. Even though they are coming from the poor background, but when it comes to education, they are all equal to those who came from the rich people, um, the families. So I said, uh, if I want to see governors coming from the slums, they have to go to school, the children have to go to school. If I want to see the, the we call them uh, MPs. MPs are member of parliament. 
coming from the slums, they have to go to school. Even have to see people, uh, uh, governors coming to the slum, they have to go to school. So I started uh, to change that world from the, from the slum. And right now, you can't believe it. We have them, some children who have gone to the best schools from the slum. We have the uh, um, boys and the girls who have joined universities from the slums, mm -hmm. even though the learning uh, facilities are poor. I know you have gone through my Facebook uh, uh, wall and you have seen the, the, the pinch of, uh, 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 of the, our learning center. Mm -hmm. You can't call it a school. You can't call it a school. Yeah. And talking from my heart, there is no one single day, there is no one single uh, coin has ever come from the government up to today. Great. But children, they grew up now that we have, uh, they, they, they came to, uh, the number grew to 100, to 200. As we are talking right now, they are 400 and above. Wow. wow. This time of uh, COVID-19, no one single person has come up to assist me. Okay. Either with one mask or one bottle of sanitizer. I just go out around seeking people, requesting people, friends, because mm -hmm. these people, children, if they cannot afford a lunch, if they cannot afford a, a, a supper, where are they going to get a mask? Where are they going to get a, a sanitizer? So, it has been a long, a long, a long way. Yeah. Um, in, in, the, in the learning center, I have 15 uh, teaching for ideas. In fact, you can't believe it. They are getting less than $5 per month. You can't imagine. Yeah. And they are fair. Even though when they get something small, they feel motivated because they are teaching from their hearts. They are not teaching because of money. Because right. if they need, they want money, they will not get it. Where are they going to get it? Because the children who are there, they are orphans, they are sickly, because we have almost 10 who are HIV positive. Mm -hmm. Others are HIV positive, infected, and affected, because others, their families, their mothers, their mothers are HIV positive. Yeah. Uh, we have those who are their fathers, their mothers are leprosy people. They are affected by leprosy. And also we have children who are, uh, are infected by, by leprosy in the same center. So uh, my idea, my, what I'm going, is going through my mind is very simple. Because this learning center, I know one day God is going to provide. I'm planning to have a good learning facility. Mm -hmm. uh, for primary school, and if God continue blessing because I believe in God, and I right. always right. believe God does miracles. Yes. After primary, uh, after primary school, we build a, a secondary school for the same people, uh, same children, because when they come out of, if they go out of the center, they will go back to streets. Others, they have no family, they have no fathers and nobody to care uh, about them. So I'm planning to have a primary school, a secondary school, a technical school. And one day, if God is going to grant us more, more years to live, you will see Rifako uh, University. That okay. is my dream. That's great. Because the change comes from my, I started with me. Right. We, I waited for people. I was writing proposals. I was yeah. requesting people from Facebook, like you guys, yeah. to come and assist. But I waited until I, I, got, I, I got tired. And I said, I'm going to start by myself. If any people will laugh at me, will yeah. see a crazy man, I'm going to start it. And yeah. I started with the 10 children, the 20, 30, 50, 100, 200, more than 400 right now. Right. Yes. Right. Hey, question. So we're talking about change your world and you're, you're kind of doing the exact thing that we've been talking about but from John Maxwell's book is that for change to take place, somebody has to do something and you really kind of took 
on the responsibility, again, not waiting for your government to do something, but you took on the responsibility to start changing your world. Um, I wanted to ask you something too, and if Ruth has a question, she can get in here, but or there's a big problem with orphans in your in your country and in Nairobi, is that correct? There's quite a lot of orphans. Come again. You, you have a lot of orphans in your city, Nairobi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There are many. Why? Right now, in my in in, in the place where I am in in this slum, you remember some years back there was a, a fire from a pipeline, Kenya pipeline. Kenya pipeline is a depot for petrol, petroleum. One day it busted and the whole village was burned. Mm -hmm. So the children who were in the school or were outside to search for food, when they come back, they found their parents dead. They found their, their houses burned to ground. So the, 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 you can go it and see. Though the number of orphans went up. Also, this pandemic of uh, HIV positive, mm -hmm. uh, HIV, HIV, AIDS. Uh, you know, in Africa, to get, in, and especially in the slums, to get, to get medicine, to get the, 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 the medicine to boost them, is very rare because there is no government institution in there. Yeah. So if they are affected, Two to three years, they are gone. Their children are orphans. Okay. Also, we have come to realize there are other, other, other people who are coming from our, our neighboring country. When okay. they come to, to Kenya to beg, they have children. Those children are Kenyans. They go to streets, and one way or another, their parents go back or they die on the way. They are going, going back to their countries. So they, 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 the children are left alone. So I take that initiative and said, uh, I have to, to, to leave something before yeah. I go back to my creator. I have to do right. something. And that's the reason why I come up with a, a Rifako Learning Center. David, that's great. I want to commend you for doing that. Ruth, did you have a quick question? No, I just wanted to tell David, I really, I'm just amazed by your story and I want to thank you for finding us. I feel like a little aunt in Des Moines, Washington, um, that you would find Brad and I were neighbors in uh, outside of Seattle and that you would find us as we're Thank trying you. to understand ourselves, what it means to change our world in our own town, but yet you are changing the world in your, in your city with with kids and I love kids and yeah. kids are my heart. So uh, thank you for- Thank you, thank you. Us. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And David, hey, we don't, we just got maybe a couple minutes left, but I wanted to ask, and I'm gonna post this on my Monday Morning Leadership. It's gonna go out to a number of different pages that I'm on. I'm part of the Kenya Entrepreneurs uh, Facebook page. I'll send you that link, but I'll post it there. But how can someone help you? What do you need as far as resources from people if they can reach out and, and support you, what do you need? Um, one, my first priority, I need person or people who can come in and feed these children. Because even if we give them education and they are angry, and always you, you it, it is said, an angry person is an angry person. If you have not, you are, you are, your stomach is empty, these children will not be in this center. So one, feeding program. If these uh, if children are going to be fed, they will not go out of, uh, they, they will concentrate more in the in education. Mm -hmm. Another thing we are going, we are planning, I am planning to build 12, uh, for, uh, 12, uh, 14 classes. 14 classes with uh, a good one, a modern one. So I'm, I'm requesting to the well-wishers, good people of God, the people I'm touched with this story, if they can come up and say, I'm going to, to build one class or two classes or three okay. classes, or other person comes and say, I'm going to support these teachers because they have done, they are following the example of Jesus Christ, giving without uh, demanding anything. If there is somebody who can come up and say, I am going to support two teachers, 
I'm going to support uh, th uh, th uh, three teachers. I will appreciate so much. And all the growth will go back to God. Because what they are doing, these children have been neglected. And yeah. they have come in for their rescue to make them equal to other families who are, uh, who are rich. So that is my point. Also, we, are, we have challenge of uh, washrooms and toilets. In the, as I've said earlier, we don't have sewer lines, we don't have uh, toilets. What, what, if someone can come up and say now, I'm going to build you six uh, toilets, I will appreciate so much. And CC children going to good toilets, washrooms, like any other children in the world. Another thing is that uh, uh, we, we, we need a learning materials. Learning materials are challenging because you know, unless we buy, government never recognizes people in the slum. We, they, they are neglected 100%. If we can get learning materials, even we can, we can get also teaching materials, I will appreciate so much. And on top of that, we need the prayer. Always remember these children. Because always when you give to the orphans, you give to God or you rent to God. And there is no one single day when you rent to God, God will pay. God will not uh, just sit down and say, I'm not going to pay you back. He's going to pay you. So I'm asking for people to come in, if they can build us a good school, even one person. I know in this world, people are rich. People have money, but they don't have the, the grace to give. I yeah. pray that some people will be touched and have that grace and say, I'm going to stand with the Rifako Gun Learning Center. I'm going to, uh, to build for them a good school. I'm going to pay their teachers. I'm going to give a, a feeding program. And I tell you, it is not me. It is not me at all. Me, I'm a grown up. I'm 47 good years. I'm not mm -hmm. going back to school. I'm crying for these children. Yeah. I'm going up and down for these children. They are not from my family. They are not from my tribe. They are not from my uh, county. I don't know their back, where they came from. I know they are children when they are in my learning center. And all they are equal, and we appreciate so much. So it is, yeah. my, it is, my, it is, my, it is my prayer that if they can, they can come. Because we have, a, we have, a, we have a, an account. If somebody wants to, to help, we have an account, the, the send account. It okay. is open, it is a good one. I can give them if they want. Okay. We have also a, pay, we can also a PayPal account for those who are away, far away. A PayPal account, it is, uh, refer, uh, the email is uh, refaco08 at you at yahoo.com okay. um, and even they can come in person and they see what is in the ground and they okay. see with their eyes they will they will i will appreciate so much because i yeah. know let me tell you something my friends if you can come and they see these children with your two eyes face to face you will cry to your last drop of your tears. I tell you. Yeah. But I know God is going to do something. Because I appreciate you, God. I've never come across people like you who can ask as somebody from the slum, like me. I feel like I feel like flying flying everywhere. I feel like 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 another person somewhere because if I can be interviewed, I've ever been interviewed, only to talk with my with, with the phone, just phone calls. But these are wonderful. And especially talking to people from Washington, as you have said, I appreciate you guys so much. I feel God bless you. Thank God you, bless David. you. David, you thank wonderful you for people. joining us today. And I, it's great to hear how you're helping change the world in your, in your part of the, the world that has so much need. So I'll reach out. I'll get your, uh, have you uh, text me that uh, PayPal address, but I'm going to put your email up on this so that people that, hear this message, can reach out to you. And if they want to donate, they can donate as well. So God bless you. And thank you so much for joining us today on, I'll call it a special edition, Monday Morning Leadership on how to change your world. And David Mutiso from Nairobi, Kenya, and what you're doing there too. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks, can I add? Right. Sorry, can I add something? Yes. A bit? Just a small one. 
Okay. Uh, okay. I, I, because I, I said these children are orphans, HIV positive, they are sickly in shorts. They are vulnerable. They, I have a proposal also. In the same center, if we can, uh, someone can come up and say, I'm going to, to, uh, to build for you a clinic. A clinic. Because these, these children, to maintain their health, 400 children is a medic. In fact, it is, they are being healed by God. Yeah. If somebody can come up and say, I'm going to build a small cleaning for these children, I'll say thank you, and I have changed the world of these children, and God will increase that somebody, because it is not about me. Because when the clinic is there, they will be treated, their parents will come there and be treated, and also the community will, be, will come and be treated. I'll send you some pictures of the slum, of the of the area, area of you, and see if you will see one one house built of block. If you see one, uh, count me a liar. It is all iron sheets. In fact, weared weared out. Yeah. When the rain comes, you can't move. You can't go. So it is my prayer that if somebody can come and say, now, I'm going to give you a clinic. For these children, I tell Jesus, receive all the glory because you have done it. Amen. I appreciate it also me. Thank you yes. so much, you guys. Thank you. May the Lord, God bless you. Okay. Yeah, thanks for thanks. taking leadership and changing your world yeah. in Nairobi, Kenya, David. We'll be in touch with you, okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye.